Welcome from a beautiful sunny day here in Mayo. Uh, we don't get too many of these days in the winter, so um, have to make the most of it and been working a lot outside lately. Um, this is about my winter projects, so i um, just going to be talking about my uh, water improvement system, my spring improvements that I've just made. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my e-bike e project for the winter, it's coming along nicely. And uh, also some uh, finishing off the boot room. Um, so let's have a look around and... Uh, Oh, sorry, I moved a bit quickly there. Um, I'll stop. Uh, this is a, a small job that uh, I've been putting off for ages. I don't know why, because it's not very difficult. Uh, this is the uh, the vent pipe coming out of uh, uh, out of the sewage system. So, uh, as you can see, I've got a a bend there and a bit of pipe. So, uh, I shall be getting on with that. And uh, I'll just swing around a bit here, just come here, and here, this was where the old chimney was, so I'm going to be patching that up. And the plastic bag is uh, covering up a vent I have, for the, an air vent for the, the range, so I need to put a, a grid on there and get it all plastered up, so that's a, a small job. And here... We'll just come round to my uh, the boot room. Uh, as you can see, there's no door on there, so that'll be another another little job that I'll be doing in the coming weeks. Also, just have to finish off the roof there. To put um, a piece of barge of steel on there, and then it's all going to be painted They're the same colour as the roof. I have some uh, roof paint uh, left over, so. Um, That'll certainly tidy that up. I'll just uh, just come. Oops, sorry, I'm shaking that a good bit. Um, I'll just come down, and I'll just show you a better view of the boot room. And then, uh, oops, there we go. Oh God, there's a sun in the way there. But anyway, there it is. There, I think the sun's catching the lens here. And um, here's a project that um, I've just completed. And uh, it's my uh, water storage tanks here. I'll just take you through to the first one and I'll show you what I've been doing. It's um, a couple of months ago I noticed in the tanks that there were, uh, I was, seemed to be getting a lot of silt coming into the tanks and I thought that's strange. The, uh, the water coming from the spring is crystal clear. You can see here's a I'll show you a close-up. That's that's a bottle of spring water that's come straight straight from the spring. Uh, this this overflow here. So uh, anyway, let's let's talk about the improvements I've made. So I'm just going to swing it around here. This black pipe is where is where the 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 feed from the spring is coming from. So um, I'm not going to show the spring coffer dam because I've, I've covered that in a previous video. So if you want to see how I collect the water, you can have a look at the previous video. So if you see the pipe work here, you can see the black pipe goes into the small gray pipe and then it comes down and then to the right it goes into the tank. Now in the tank there's a ball valve so when, when it fills up it closes off and then the overflow which you can see running here now, comes out this pipe here. So this is the water, the overflow from the spring. So this tank here, what it is, is a, is a slow sand filter now. Previously, it was just a storage tank. So what I've done, uh, in the bottom, the first 25 centimeters is gravel and then I've put uh, a fine mesh over the top of the gravel and then it's filled right up to the almost to the the very last steel there about 25 centimeters from the the top of sand and then the water goes in, and the water level is about 10 centimeters above that so the water goes in there and slowly filters through the tank and then let me I'll try and show you this without shaking too much. And then here, 
here we have the system here. You see the, this pipe here at the bottom? Hang on, I'm just going to get into a better position here to show you. There you go, that's better. So, so you can look at the bottom there, that, that bottom pipe, that is the water coming out of the, of the filter, and it comes up, and there's a takeoff there, so you can check the water quality. And also, it's going to be a back flush system, so probably in about six months, if it starts to block up, and then you can back flush it and clear out any sediment. So then the water comes up to the top, and then here it goes into my storage tank, where now this one is just water, and um, this is where my water is stored now. So, and then we'll come around here. Sorry, this is a bit too close here. But anyway, oh, here we go. Now here is the... So this is the water outlet now, which goes to the house. There's a, a pump in the house, and the water is pumped from this tank straight into the house. So yeah, that's, that's how my system works. Okay, here's a, a view uh, I haven't shown before, because uh, I've only just started uh, to clear it. It's, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm right behind the bar now. And uh, I'll just swing around. There's a small stream running through there. And uh, here you can see I have quite some big trees here. And through here, I still have to clear through there yet. And into here. And uh, I'll just take you through. I just wanted to show you a couple of trees that uh, the wind has actually blown blown the root ball over so I need to uh, oops I need to uh, I need to cut the uh, cut them down so here we go just wanted to show you so there you go you can can you see those those two trees there they're uh, in my, in my ignorance, I thought, oh God, they'll be very easy to cut down. They're, they're halfway down already. But uh, thank goodness for YouTube, because if you look on YouTube about uh, cutting trees, these are the most dangerous trees to try and cut, because uh, there's a lot of tension and they're caught up in the branches of the other trees as well. So they're very, very dangerous trees to cut. They, they, they call them barber chairs because they can rise up and they can fall anywhere. So I think I'm going to get help to cut these. I don't fancy cutting them by myself. So just going to swing round now. Now you can see we're getting to the to the back of my property. This is the first time that I've really been round here and it just goes on a good bit over there yet which I've got to clear but um, but yeah I just thought I'd show you that quickly. Well this is a, a nice sight I like to see the chimney smoking away burning my firewood it's uh, firing the range and the central heating, which is keeping my cottage uh, lovely, warm and cosy. I'm very, very fortunate. I mean, sure enough, when uh, I bought my cottage and I moved in for the first time, it was terribly damp and cold, and, but, but all the damp was being caused by the, the roof leaking. Uh, now the roof is done and uh, I've been living in the cottage now for oh, a good seven or eight months and it's dried out and there is not one bit of damp in the cottage whatsoever. I'm very, very surprised. It's, it's lovely and warm and cozy. So, uh, yeah, I'm very fortunate. Uh, most people who have the, the cottages, uh, one of the number one complaint is, uh, is dampness. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very lucky. It's... Uh, it's now that uh, we have the, the heating going, it's 
it's lovely and warm and cozy and no dam so um yeah i just thought i'd uh, mention that um and and this uh, the the fire is uh, is my own uh, wood from from my trees around the property so uh, it's quite satisfying to uh, to uh, to do that and uh, i'll just show you here this, this is where i'm uh, i'm processing uh, all my wood here's a uh, Here's a few logs that uh, I cut up this morning and uh, brought them over and there's my log splitter It's a fantastic machine. I mean, there's no ways I could do this by hand now I mean years ago I would have done but not now so uh, but this makes light work of it and uh, Here's my uh, pile of firewood for next year that I'm processing so um, yeah, it's um, very, very good. Um, I'll just show you my uh, another project that uh, that I'm doing for this winter. Sorry while I move around a little bit, but uh, just get away a little bit here. Okay, so this is my e-bike. I've, uh, I've built several of these. When, when I was in Thailand, I built three. And... Uh, Actually, I built, I put a sidecar onto the one and we had a solar panel on the top and uh, it was fantastic. It, uh, the solar panel provided enough power uh, to, to drive the bike and it was great. Uh, used to go around the village and all the kids would be jumping on. Uh, they thought it was great fun. But, um, but yeah, so um, yeah, basically um, I bought this bike on Dundee got a real bargain it was only 15 euros and it's a full suspension bike with disc brakes on the front which uh, yeah I'm very happy with uh, it just needed a few things the brakes fixing and that but that that was all really I was very fortunate so uh, there's a controller um, it's very very clever there's many many parameters you can set and uh, it has a, a throttle and also um, a pedal assist so when you uh, when you're pedaling you can set different power levels and uh, it's very good so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this on the road I'm just waiting for a, a bag for the battery to a cover for it that's, that's coming from China but things are a little bit slow at the moment with the uh, all this COVID business. So, um, yeah, so that, that's a little project. I hope to have this done next month and uh, I can go exploring around uh, the, the hills here. I mean, I, I needed an electric bike because it's, it's very, very hilly where I live and uh, <laughs> for me it would be impossible to get up these hills. So uh, I'm sure this electric bike will really help me. So um, so that's that, that's a project there. So... Um, Yes, we'll go later. Bye. Okay, so um, we have the professionals in now to um, drop these two leaning trees. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I was a little bit nervous about uh, doing this I myself. I video this bit now. <laughs> 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 I, did, I think the guys are nervous themselves, so um, so we'll just give them a little bit of time now and I'll come back to this.
Nearly gone. Nearly. I thought I'd just uh, show you my little bird feeder I made, quite proud of that and uh, once the stain is dried, it's a water-based stain by the way so it's not toxic or anything so um, yeah when that's dry I'll hang that up in the, the trees tomorrow, very proud of that, see you now, bye